There is no doubt that this pandemic will have lasting impacts on all of us. For healthcare workers who are still in the fight, they will be among the last to digest all that has transpired. Perhaps a time for their own communities to care for them. The hospital's chapel has always been a place of quiet reflection, a place now where some of the healers have come to heal. This pandemic brought a lot of fear as a frontliner. So many people have seen so many things. We've seen a lot of caregivers that we have to debrief, sit with them and let them talk. Hope is here. Vaccines lighting the way to better days ahead. Once empty shelves are full and early complications have brought change. The hospital built this lab in just two weeks, capable of performing more than a thousand tests a week. But inside these walls, COVID patients still need care at a time when caregivers have seen more deaths in a month than they would normally see in any given year. Just like the public out there has been through a lot, we've been through a lot in here too. The fatigue is really just starting to set in, you know, at this one year mark. Really that wave three is caring for the caregiver, helping people process through this, right? Helping them understand the impact. Everyone grieves differently, so we need to make sure that we have an array of options for the staff so that they have what they need. Healing will come for some with a renewed focus on purpose. When you have that calling, that purpose in your life, I think the pandemic really reawakened that in many of us and reminded us of what a noble profession this is and how fulfilling and rewarding it can be to help others. Compassion and attention and heart from the staff helped me make it through this most difficult of time. In the letters from a community that may never be able to express its gratitude enough. We were all able to leave her at night and know that she was in the hands of God's angels and very safe. And maybe in the celebration of lives saved. And Nicole reports the caretakers she spoke with all say the pandemic has brought them newfound respect for one another and closer as a team. That's Chronicle for tonight. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. See you back here again tomorrow.